We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and have been full-timing since December of 2017. We have a Volvo heavy-duty truck of Leroy with our two Spider motorcycles, our DRV Mobile Suites, Dixie, and our smart car, Zippy. We have multiple memberships, but we try to stay in Thousand Trails or Encore campgrounds whenever possible. This time we're going to Carolina Landings in Fair Play, South Carolina. It's about an hour and a half northeast of Atlanta on the border between Georgia and South Carolina on Lake Hartwell. Carolina Landing is off of 85. We're coming in southbound right now because we're coming back from Walmart. Walmart is about 25 minutes or so from the campground. About a half hour. Yeah. And we came northbound to go to the campground to begin with, and there's a very odd turn to get down the road that takes you to the campground. And we actually missed the turn, which was a good thing, because we would have never been able to make it, I don't think, as like a hairpin. But there happens to be a Love's. Like, well, you can actually maybe see the sign, see the sign right there. there. And we were able to turn around there to get into the road we need to get out to. So we got an exit coming off here. And this is just really weird how they have this little loop at the exit ramp to get to this road. So normally where that truck is, right now you would make a right hand turn and go towards that building over there. And you can see it would be quite the hairpin turn. So if you've done a long rig or you have a really big trailer full of toys, it might make it kind of difficult to come down that way. You just turn around with loves and you'd be okay. If you don't have a real long rig, you can probably make that turn, no problem. And this goes back about three and a half miles, I think, to get to the park. Uh, about a mile and a half. About a mile and a half. So here's the entrance to Carolina Landings in Fair Play, South Carolina. Thousand Trails Campground. And you just... I guess you can you can go to the right to, to go through if you need to, if you have RVs in your way here, but your RV will park right in here. And then you would go into the office there and you can find your own spot that you want. It'll give you a map. The gate is not working today, so we don't have to worry about punching the code. There's nobody in that little shack there. As you can see, everything's on hills. And so when you're coming around these corners, careful right there and you're just going to be going up hills and going through pull throughs and of course you got your pool which is right there and there's your mini golf butt butt And all these pull-throughs are one way. There's like three streets that are one way. We'll just follow the arrows. And then you gotta go past like four streets before you can actually get turned back around and go back down the hill. And the roads are kind of choppy as most thousand trails are. Styles and trails going well. These roads aren't half bad. Yeah, that's probably true. Well, the these are a little flatter up here, but these are only 30 amp on the right hand side, 50 on the left. But they're still pretty narrow. If you want to take a walk down to the lake, it'll be fine coming back, walking from the lake. You won't be. Steep hill. Unless you're really, really fit. You want to try going that way? We haven't been through the park yet, so we're going to kind of learn as we go here. 
So this is taking us to more pull-throughs, but these only have water and electric, and the roads are a little rustic. Not much going on back here. I don't, don't think you wanted to go this Nothing, way. Nothing's going on back here. These are little sights. Oh my god. Oh lord. I guess you're uh, better off staying in the A section where we're at. Mm -hmm. Oh, they've been there a while. Yeah, they kind of work there. You wouldn't even be able to get a RV through here very easily. Yeah. Oh my god, this is only four feet wide in here. Zippy can barely get through. This is a golf cart pad. Yeah. Oh my god. I'd tear your golf cart up. Wow. That is, what is that, a 10% grade? Well, more than that. 25%. Wow, it's pretty. I mean, all the trees and everything in here. Could be going the wrong way. I don't know. I, don't I think we are. <laughs> hmm. We got it in that way. Wow. How do you pull it in forward? Holy smokes. Wow, pretty late. So there's the picnic area. Apparently you can uh, keep your boat down here while you're camping. Nice breeze. It's over 90 degrees already today. This feels good. And they got the dock, which looks like it's in pretty good shape. That you can go walk down on, probably fish off of it, go sit at a bench. And I guess you can go swimming. They got a ladder out here. You can go swimming in the lake out here too. Several pontoon boats. temperature right now. I did 
police are. second row coming through the gate so we're close to the entrance this is traveling up the road that we are on quite a few big rigs up here but it is not the widest of all places and there's not a whole lot of space in between so the pool's over there. It's on the back side of the office where you check in. So you can see it's on a hill. And this is like an overflow area where we have Leroy our truck. And I'm gonna check out this building here. So here's the lodge. Got a TV over here, pool table, tables you can play cards or have group gatherings, comfy furniture, watch TV. Well, they got a little kitchen back here. I don't think it gets used that much. So this is one half of the building. Let me see if I can find out what's on the other half. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, just checking the place out. You guys put in your own games and stuff in here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, kid corrals. Lots of toys. Onward. 
foosball. The stage. Or the pool table. There's Dave playing with the drone. So you can see how wide our site is there. That's our neighbor, that's their area, that's us, and that's our area on the hill. There's a gate that you come in. You exit on that side. This is where the dumpsters are, up by the front gate. And there is a dump station. You come through the gate to the left here. And I believe they have potable water. This is actually where we park to unload Zippy. And then there's another building. Let's find out what this one is. Let's see what this is like. This is a clubhouse. And what's locked. So let's see, there are tables and chairs, pool table, there's a stage. I don't think you're going to be able to see much. Pretty nice for a big gatherer. Yep, that's the best I can do. But it's locked. You got your basketball court here. They have some bean bag toss here. And they have their men's restroom. Here's the women's to see if there's anybody in there. Hard door closure and then a bench, shower with a curtain, hook, but you also have a privacy door. And we got a notice board up here, some restaurant information, and the laundry room. Looks like it's 225. Both the wash and dry. And you have to use a card system here. A couple of tables for folding. All right. Hi. Hi. And here's the pool. They got their lock way up here. Which you pull up and then you have to finagle to open it. Nice pool. It's a little cool, but it's refreshing. They have these nice little like cabanas. Dave and I actually played ping pong here the other day. They have the putt-putt course, which looks like it's in okay condition. And they got a big gym thing for the kids. They got a little house here that I guess it has their pumps and stuff in it, but they have played music from out of there as well. Radio station kind of thing. Pool's good size. No hot tub, unfortunately. Nice clean pool. Enjoyed it.